Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I want to show you a very cool device for your vehicle. What you're looking at is a 4-in-1 tool for your vehicle. This one device can jumpstart your vehicle, inflate the tire, has a built-in super bright LED flashlight, and it can also charge your mobile device. With this one device, you can now jumpstart a vehicle without needing jumper cables or another vehicle. In this video, I'll show you all the features on this device, so stay tuned. Let me show you the unboxing of this LucaThor JA301 2-in-1 Jump Starter Air Inflator. Here's a look at everything that comes with this unit. Right here, there's a storage bag, user manual, Jumper cable, USB charge cable, tire inflator tube, various inflator attachments, and right here is a JA301 jump starter tire inflator. So let's have a closer look at this jump starter inflator unit. I do like the overall design, it's very sleek and compact. Just looking at it, you can't tell there's a tire inflator built into this jump starter. But in fact, this is a 4 in 1 device. Looking on the front side, there's a rubber cover here. Open this up. This is where you connect the jumper cable. On this side, open this cover, and there is a USB-C connector and a USB-A connector. The USB-C connector is for charging the unit, and the USB-A connector is an output port for charging your mobile device. Now there is a built-in flashlight on the left side here. To turn it on, press and hold this light switch right here. Press it again, and it's strobe. Once more, SOS, press it once again, and it'll turn off. Now when I turn on the flashlight, you notice the unit turned on. You can also turn on the unit by pressing the power button right here. If you want to turn it off, press and hold the power button. With the unit turned on, this green bar here will show you the charge level of the internal battery. In total, there are four green LED bars. So with this one bar, the charge level is about 25%. So if you just unbox this, you do need to fully charge a battery before use. To charge a jump starter, use the included USB cable. Connect the end with the USB-C connector to the input port. And then plug this end to the USB charger. Now it's recommended to use a charger with at least two amp output. So here I have a USB charger. I'll plug the USB cable to it. And you can now see it's charging the battery. Now depending on how low the battery is, the charging time can be from 4 hours to 7.5 hours. To the left of the display, there are two LED indicators. The top one is a red LED. This will illuminate if there's a fault when you're jump starting the vehicle. And the one below this is a green LED. When this jump starter is connected properly to the car battery, this green LED will flash to let you know it's ready to jump start a vehicle. So let's have a look at this jumper cable. Now this jumper cable is very heavy duty. If you look on the wire itself, this wire is a 6 gauge wire. And this can handle a lot of current. Most jump starters only come with an 8 gauge wire, so this is definitely designed to handle a lot of current. When you're ready to jump start a vehicle, plug this connector into this port. Connect the red clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery and the black clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery. Then you can go into your vehicle and start it up. Now if you find your car battery is drained so low that the jump starter is not able to detect the car battery, you can set the jump starter to a force mode. What this will do is bypass a protection circuit inside the unit and send a 12 volt from the battery pack directly to the alligator clamps. To put it into force mode, press this bar PSI button here and hold it. When it's in force mode, the green LED is solid and also there's voltage going to these clamps right now. So be very careful. You don't want to short circuit these clamps when you're using force mode. But this will allow you to jump start a car battery that has very low voltage down to almost one volt. When you're done, press this button again Looking on this side, for this JA301, the internal battery capacity is 20,000 milliamp hour, and it can output a peak current of 2,000 amps when you're jump starting a battery. And it can inflate a tire up to 150 PSI. The operating temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The storage temperature has the same rating at minus 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. The charging temperature is 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let me show you how to use a tar inflator. Take the inflator hose and connect this end to this port on the side here. Turn on the unit. You can pre-program the target PSI that you want to inflate the tires to. Now you can toggle the unit between PSI and bar by pressing a button right here. That's bar. That's PSI. And using the plus and minus button here, you can set the target pressure. I'll set this to 35 PSI. Go flash for a second and then set. After you set this, connect this end to your tire and to turn on the pump, press and hold the pump button. Now when it reaches the 35 PSI, it will stop automatically. Now it also comes with these attachments, so you can use it to inflate balls, floaties, or air mattress. So here I'll use this tire inflator to inflate my tire. Connect the hose to the tire. Turn it on. Set the target PSI. It's set to 35 right now. After a second, it'll stop flashing and show you the actual measured PSI from the tire. To start the tire inflator, press and hold the pump button for three seconds. As you can see, once it's properly inflated, the compressor will stop automatically. Now you can disconnect the hose. Now if you have a USB-C device like this phone here, you can use the same charging cable you use to charge this battery pack to charge your phone. Open up this cover, plug this side of the cable to the USB-A connector, and then plug the USB-C connector to your phone, and it'll start charging it. Now this USB output charging port will output 5 volt at 3 amps, or 9 volt at 2 amps. So let me show you how you go about using this jump starter to jump start a vehicle if you have a dead battery. Now the battery in this vehicle is not dead, but I just want to show you how to connect everything up if you do need to jump start your vehicle. First connect the jumper cable to the jump starter. Open up this cover. Plug this connector in. Connect the red clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery. Connect the black clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery. Now press the power button to turn on the unit. Once the jump starter detects a car battery, the green LED will flash here. Now before you start the vehicle, if you want to check the voltage of the car battery, you can do that on this device. What you want to do is press the power button to exit the starting mode. The green LED will stop flashing and this display will show you the voltage of the car battery. When you're ready to jump start the vehicle, you'll need to disconnect the clamp, connect it again, now the jump start mode will reinitialize. At this time you can go into your vehicle and start up. Once the vehicle is started, disconnect the clamps. And then you turn off the device. And that's it, this is how you jump start your vehicle. After you're done with this, disconnect the jumper cable. Put this inside the storage bag, and then you can place this back in your car. Overall, I really like the design of this 2-in-1 jump starter and air compressor. The size is very compact. With it, you no longer have to carry a jump starter and a separate compressor, and you can save a lot more space with this one device. Now, besides the jump starting function and the compressor, it also has a very bright flashlight with three different modes. All the functions are easy to use. The jump starter has many built-in safety features. So even if you connect the jumper cables incorrectly, it will not damage your vehicle or the device. Now the time of this review, this retails for $190 and make sure you check the coupon below the price to get additional savings. Currently there is a 20% off coupon if you buy one and 30% off if you buy two. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.